So now here's a bunch of miscellaneous stuff that's new to ZBrush that I couldn't really fit into its own video probably. The first one is you go in here to Preferences, Performance, there's a new optimal button. You're going to want to keep this on. It's on by default. It's going to help with sculpting and navigational slowdown. So this is going to allow ZBrush to control the number of processing threads it's using so that it only gets to take what it needs for any given operation. Another thing we've brought up is uh, when you have your gizmo here and you hold down shift, it's going to snap it to 0.1 increments. Uh, just like when we talked about the f uh, file format here, if you go in here to tool export, you're going to have your usual OBJ, MA, you can use GoZ, but you're also going to have Alembic, Collada, and 3MF as uh, other options for you. There's another new macro. So if we go through here and uh, we start carving in some detail with maybe our Damien standard brush, we'll hold down Alt on this one, let go of Alt on this one. There's a macro up here where we can go to enhance details and that's going to run a couple scripts in here so we go down here to layers it's kind of like using a Photoshop sharpen filter but in uh, for 3d models so we can go through here here's our enhance so we can turn that down and we can actually soften it so we can either lessen that enhanced amount or we can turn it off completely so you can kind of see like what the difference it is it's making like so so at this point what we can do is we can go down here to morph target if we turn uh, enhanced off so here's our original um, it looks like we already have a morph target stored, so let's go ahead and delete that morph target. And then now if we turn the enhanced on, it's like, okay, I'm going to sharpen this up. It's it's sharp enough in here, but it's way too sharp in other areas, but that's okay. So with this off, go in here and say store morph target, turn enhanced back on, crank it up, or as much as you need to. And in fact, you can actually over crank that sharpness if you want to, but it looks like this will be fine. Uh, if we're good with this, we can hit bake all. We can go back down here to our morph target. We can say switch, and then we can go to BMO, BMO, or our morph target brush. Then we can use uh, Z add, just turn off RGB, uh, and crank Z add up to 100, and now you can just dial in that sharpness exactly uh, where you want that sharpness to go. And over here in our in our subtools here, if we had uh, a bunch of, you know, we've been working on a lot of things, and they all got a bunch of subtools in here, and we only really care about care about the one that we're working on, we can go back up to the macro, and there's a delete unselected tools. So what we can do is we can say, you know what, get rid, clear our whole scene, uh, except for the one we're working on. It'll go through and delete all those. So now we have a little bit of a lighter ZBrush session. So I think that's it. I think we've gotten to the very end of ZBrush 2021, what's new. Again, you'll be able to find this entire series up here on my YouTube channel and on my ArtStation page. We'll go ahead and make a new section for this. And I may throw up a special section or something special in my Gumroad where I add a little bit of extra content for like going through some demos that I've done and uh, you can get it there as well for download. And just one last thing, if you go up here under Preferences, Tablet, Tablet Driver API, if you're having any lag issues when you're interacting with your models, you can try one of these settings. So the Win tab is going to be the default mode. This will not handle Windows Ink. This is going to operate like it did in ZBrush 2019. Stylus handles Windows Ink the same way it did in 2020.1.4, and then the WM Event handles Windows Ink the same way it did in 2021. So this is a new, if you're on ZBrush 2021.1, uh, you'll have that in your preferences menu.